When these PVC panels are filled with air, they can transform a boat into a hovercraft. The hovercraft is a hybrid vehicle propelled by air. They can float on water, land, ice, or sand, which makes it the perfect vehicle for troop carriers, amphibious assault, and search and rescue. So when an F-16 went down in Utah's Great Salt Lake mudflats, hovercrafts raced to the scene over land and water and were able to reach the pilot in time to carry him to safety and recover sensitive cargo at the crash site. The hovercraft is made of a cab, skirt, propeller system, and an inflatable hull. The high-strength PVC hull has five separate buoyancy chambers. Even if three of them lose pressure, the hull will still stay afloat. Once the hull is inflated, the frame is lowered onto it. The hull is treated with marine-grade silicone to make sure it slides on smoothly. Then the frame is bolted into place. The skirt is what makes the hovercraft hover. When air is fanned under the hull, it's trapped in the skirt. When the pressurized air exceeds the weight of the craft, it starts floating on that cushion of air, which means the hovercraft can go just about anywhere. To make the skirt, heavy gauge PVC is rolled out onto a table. Using a grease pencil, the pattern is traced and cut. Every piece is made to measure. Heat activated glue is brushed onto the strips, which are stretched over a skirt shaped wooden template. Once all the panels have been joined together, the horseshoe shaped skirt is ready to attach to the hull. The underside has been brushed with adhesive, and the completed skirt is pressed onto the hull. Then it's hoisted and flipped, and the skirt is wrapped around the hull and heat sealed tight. Then, 16 hollow rubber panels, or fingers, are zip tied to the bow. When the skirt is filled with air, the fingers create an impact absorbing curtain around the nose of the craft, which makes for a smoother ride in rough water. If the fingers get damaged, they can easily be replaced or reattached in minutes. The hovercraft is equipped with a variable pitch propeller system. Gimbals on every blade enables the propeller to pivot and rotate on its axis and gives the hovercraft the ability to brake and glide in reverse. Rotating the propeller on a spindle the tech checks that all the blades are weighted exactly equally, adding a washer if a blade is even the tiniest bit out. A misaligned propeller will cause major vibrations when spinning at top speed. Once complete, the propeller is mounted in the cage to protect it from getting clogged with bits of debris. Three rudders are fastened behind the propellers, which directs the airflow and steers the hovercraft not unlike a helicopter. Finally, the fiberglass cab and seats are dropped into the frame and bolted in. The dashboard containing speedometer and pressure gauges, throttle, and steering systems are installed. The hovercraft is good to go, ready to glide over land and water. With its wide skirt and low center of gravity, the hovercraft is almost unsinkable, even at top speeds of 100 kilometers an hour. Part boat, part airship, all terrain, the hovercraft is mission ready, no matter where that mission takes you.